Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about Silver Highlight Photo Books, what it means, how to choose, and I want to also share with you my favorite picks when it comes to these photographic photo books. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure to check the notifications bell to never miss a new video. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. So this is my first video of 2022. So happy new year, guys. Um, I have to apologize for not putting out too much content in the past few months, but life has been just a little bit upside down. An awful lot of work with my uh, travel map creator shop and also teaching and other things that I'm doing. So I had very little time to, to spend on the blog, but hopefully this year that's going to go back to some kind of normality and I can again post videos regularly. In today's video, I want to talk about a group of photo books that I get asked about very often and that's silver highlight photo books or photographic photo books. This video is going to be broken down into three parts. In the first part, I'm going to talk about the actual method, what silver highlight means, um, how it affects your photos, how is it different to any other print method. In the second section, I'm going to show you my favorite silver highlight photo books. And in the last section, I'm going to show some other silver highlight photo books and give you some other tips of what companies to look out for that I haven't tried yet, but I have heard about and I have checked out their website. Now, just before I dive in, a couple of things. So this is not a sponsored video. Everything I say here is just my opinion. Second, this is not about luxury wedding photo albums. Now, when it comes to photo books, as we know them, there are consumer photo books, which became popular in the past 15, 20 years. And there are also professional wedding photo books that have been around for a much longer time. These professional wedding photo album maker companies are usually exclusive to professional photographers, which means that you need to have a membership with them and you have to prove that you're actually making a living out of photography. There are hundreds and hundreds of companies like that in the UK, in America and in every country. And I do not want to talk about those companies in this video because I know that most of my viewers are uh, looking for consumer photo books for your everyday photos and for your travel photos, for your baby photos and so on, and some DIY uh, wedding albums that you might want to make for yourself. So that basically excludes a huge number of photo book companies that I'm not going to talk about. And I couldn't even talk about them because I am not a professional photographer, so I do not have access to many of those services. Right, so let's dive in. So what is silver halide printing and why is it used in photo books? So so at the moment, there are three main ways of printing photo books. One is silver halide, there is also inkjet and digital press printing. Now, all three of them obviously create very similar results, but there are some big differences between the two. Inkjet and digital press printing is very similar in the way that ink is being deposited onto the paper, which means that this is a transfer process. Now, also when you uh, deposit ink onto paper, we call that half tone printing because the image is made up of tiny droplets of ink or tiny dots. And when you look at these dots from a distance or an arm's length, they are so small that they basically create the illusion of a continuous image. But silver halide printing on the other side has been around for a very long time. It's what people call the traditional photography method, which works with light and chemicals. So basically the paper is a special kind of paper which has already the dyes in it. And these chemicals react to the light being exposed onto the paper and then they form an image throughout a very, you know, lengthy process. And I'm not going to talk about that because I've talked about it extensively in a previous video, but the main difference is that there's no ink being transferred onto the paper. It's just basically um, a result of chemical reaction between the light and the chemicals inside the paper. Now, the big difference between this method and the digital methods or the transfer methods is that this is called a continuous stone print method because if you look at the silver halide print you will never see tiny dots because the print just looks very smooth it's not made up of tiny dots it's just a continuous blend of of, of colors if you will so that's the main difference between the two and that's how you can easily distinguish a silver halide print from a, a transfer print 
Now, many years ago when I started talking about silver halide printing, the main options for photo books were digital press printing, like the indigo printers, which are used by most commercial photo books, and silver halide printing, which was kind of a more premium option. In the past five years, more and more companies started introducing high definition inkjet printing into uh, the photo book business. And it's very difficult to distinguish between a silver halide print and an inkjet print sometimes. And inkjet prints, depending on the settings and machine used, can sometimes be superior to silver halide prints in many different aspects. Mainly, they, they look a little bit sharper and they have a wider color range to, to work with than silver halide prints. And because the dots are so much smaller than in digital press printing, they also almost create the illusion of a continuous stone print. It's not continuous stone, but it almost looks like one. So in a nutshell, that's the main difference between the three print technologies and silver halide is still around for many reasons. I think the biggest benefit of this method is that it treats skin tones so well and because it's a continuous stone print, it looks a lot more natural when it comes to people, when it comes to faces or when it comes to nature photography. I've been praising silver halide photo books since the very beginning of this blog and mainly because they yielded so nice colors, such nice continuous tones, and they were also used in the more premium photo books, like the lay flat photo books, wedding albums, and the fancier cover leather linen uh, cover photo books. Now, let me show you some of my favorites. Now, I have a very long list of photo books here. Let me show you. So this is just a little sample here of all the books. It's really heavy. Um, that I want to show you. Of course, there are a lot more in the cupboard, but these are the main ones uh, I want to talk about. So I'm going to start with my favorites and uh, give you a couple of words and why they are my favorites. I have reviewed all of these books in the past. So if you want to know a lot more about the actual company and your options, go and find the videos on my blog or on YouTube, or you can use my photo book wizard. So number one is Sal. Digital, which is a German company. They operate in the UK, most of Europe, and now I think also in the United States. I've used their photo books many, many times. They're very affordable in the silver halide range and the print quality was always top notch. They have a few paper choices and quite a lot of cover options, a lot of sizes, and you have to create the book in their editor, which is quite flexible and gives you a lot of options. I've never been disappointed by these books. It's very versatile and suitable for many, many occasions, and it's not going to rob the bank. Number two on the list is Printic, or as it used to be called, Adoramapix. Uh, they changed name a few years ago. Now, this is kind of, for me, the equivalent of Sal in the United States. Now, what you need to know about them is that they only ship within the United States and Canada, but you can get some forwarding companies to get them into Europe. Um, again, it's a professional um, photography company. They cater to many professional photographers, but they are not exclusive to professional photographers. All of their photo books are lay flat and silver halide, beautiful colors in all of the books, but they offer, I think, the most um, paper options. I think six or seven different kinds of silver halide papers to choose from, like pebble, silk, canvas, luster, gloss, and so on. And again, you have quite a lot of cover options to choose from, like linen, leather, and printed covers. Printing is a little bit more expensive than Sal, but in, this, in a similar price range, depending on what options you choose from, thicker pages or standard pages. Next on the line is Siwi, which is a European company. I think they kind of dominate most of the European uh, market when it comes to photo books because they are present in many uh, drugstores like Boots in the UK. Siwi uh, in the beginning was not one of my favorites, but in recent times they uh, extended their range with silver halide photo books and they also do these amazing extra large books. Now the standard silver halide books are just a printed cover and I think you can choose from three different paper types and they are quite affordable but when it comes to these extra large ones with metallic titles and linen leather covers 
They are more special. They are amazing for weddings and any kind of special occasion, but they are very expensive. So a much bigger investment than their standard range. But again, the quality is amazing. The papers are really nice. The next one on the list is Colorland. This particular book, again, it's a European company and I think it's only available in Europe, if I'm not mistaken. They might have expanded into the US now, but at the time when I got this book, it was Europe only. Although their silver halide range is very small, just four sizes and one kind, Kind of a photo book. It just really struck my eyes because it has a beautiful padded cover. The picture inside was really nice, sharp and well contrasted. It's not very expensive. It's a simple book, but it's a very nice silver halide book if you're looking for like a wedding album or something like a baby photo shoot. Now, the next one is again, a company that I have talked about so much in the past. It's Pixmig and I picked here again, their wooden photo book. Needless to say, this is an extremely unique book because it's actually made of wood and the box is made of wood as well, but all of their books use silver halide technology and the print quality is beautiful and they have lots of sizes, many different colors of leather, linen and wood and also some printed covers. They are a small company in Macedonia, but they ship worldwide so you can get these books from anywhere. Next on the list is Bob Books. Bob Books is very similar to Siwi with the exception that they don't do any leather or linen cover photo books, but they kind of cater to professional photographers. Again, all of their lay flat photo books are silver halide printed in a very affordable range. They don't do any fancy covers like um, linen, leather, or crystal, acrylic, and so on. So very simple photo books, but very good quality print inside and uh, quite affordable. UK based company, but you can get the books all around the world. Last but not least is ZNO or Zeno. They used to be called Artisan State, I think a very long time ago. My only kind of moan with their books is that the print doesn't seem to be as sharp as the other silver highlight photo books, but the colors still look really good. But the reason why I wanted to include it here because they were one of the first ones to offer silver halide wedding packages to non-professionals with all the options that professionals can choose from. So if you go to their website, they're available from all around the world. They have so many options for papers, for covers, for packaging and uh, for boxes. So you can basically create a, a totally customized uh, wedding experience on their website or a professional photo shoot. Now, these were my favorites. I'm going to talk about a few other books now. I also wanted to mention at this point that I know many of you have messaged me about Sal Digital, uh, ZNO, Printeek, that you hated their print quality. It was awful. Uh, the ZNO book fell apart and all these different complaints. Now, I am completely aware that every company is going to mess up from time to time, but there are a few things that you need to understand when it comes to printing. First of all, most of these processes are not manually done anymore because the volumes are so big, they go through automated processes, so problems can arise. I think all of these companies are good enough with their customer service that if you have issues and message them, they will happily do a reprint for you. I've been very lucky with these photo books. None of them fell apart for me and I was very happy with the prints. I had a couple of issues with the Sal books, but it wasn't their fault. It was humidity in my room and the pages started to call and they still sent me a replacement. They were very kind. Um, so what I'm trying to say here is if you ever have issues with the print quality, you feel like something is really off, just message the company and I'm sure they are going to be more than happy to send you a reprint if it's their fault, if it's not your picture's fault. And again, if a book falls apart, it's a book. It can happen. Again, ask for a reprint, but don't just write off the company because of one mistake. You can go to a restaurant as well and something can go wrong, but it doesn't mean it's a bad restaurant. It was just a little mistake. Now, one particular thing I want to bring to your attention is metamerism. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's basically a phenomenon that happens with ink and printed things when we view them under different lighting conditions. And many times when I got messages, especially about silver halide books, that they, the colors looked really off, I often wondered what kind of lighting conditions were you viewing that photo book under. 
So the metamerism basically means that if you look at a black and white uh, photo book, which is printed using silver halide methods under daylight conditions, it's going to look fairly neutral and black and white. But if you look at the same photo book under artificial lighting, something that's warmer, a more yellowish tint to it, then the black and white print is going to look very greenish or very bluish depending on the lighting conditions. And this phenomenon is called metamerism and it's very, very unique to silver halide prints. It happens with all kinds of prints, but with inkjet prints, it's kind of minimized. But with silver halide prints, it's very difficult to kind of avoid this um, kind of error that happens when you look at the photo book in different lighting conditions. So if you look at your photo book and you feel like, oh, these colors look a little bit dull or they look too greenish or too bluish, then make sure you look at your photo book in daylight the next day. And if it still looks really bad, then ask for a reprint. But if you are happy with the look on the daylight, then you just have to accept that that's what happens to the chemicals in the book. That's how it react to certain light sources. Now let's move on to some other honorary mentions. So these are other photo books that I have, but I wouldn't call them my favorites. So one of them is the Silver Halide exclusive uh, luxury albums by Picaboo. It's a gorgeous book. It's really well made. It's beautiful. The only reason why it's not my favorite is because you don't really have any options when you create the book. It's just two sizes. The inside is kind of given and it's very, very expensive. I think it was $400. And I think for um, a standard size photo book, that's a little bit too expensive, even though it's very premium material. So I can't stress enough that the quality is really good. It's, it's just, I think, a little bit too expensive if you want it for an uh, everyday project or for a travel photo book. But if you want to spend on a beautiful wedding album, then it's a very good uh, option to look at. Number two is myphotobook.co.uk. I think, again, it's a German company, but they have different websites around the world. Now, this is one book that I haven't really talked about ever since, but it's a silver highlight photo book with amazing print inside. And this was actually my very first silver highlight book. It looks a little bit wrecked because um, I've had this book for years and years and it just kept going from uh, shelf to shelf and box to box. But I chose like a very glossy paper inside. So I never really wanted to cherish it. Instead, I just reprinted it in a different format. It's a company you don't hear so much about and it doesn't come up in the Google search, but it's a really good quality photo book. So if you just want to check out something unusual, um, myphotobook.co.uk. Next one is a photo box. This is a UK company, but I think you can get it anywhere around the world. And it's a huge company in the UK making lots of photo gifts and photo books, but they only have two kinds of um, options where silver halide is the print method and it only comes in two sizes. My sister actually uses these photo books on a regular basis and she swears by it. But when I got this photo book, their first, it's, I think it's called the Pro Book, which is their Silver Halide photo book. The colors were a little bit off and the print didn't seem very sharp. Normally I would just ask for a reprint, but I didn't really want to bother with it because it was just for a review. They don't offer too many options. You can't get leather, you can't get linen, you, you can't get any different paper types inside. So for that reason, I thought, it's not going to make it into my favorites because it's just um, too simple and too restricted with the options. But if you do love photo box, then you should try it out. I think the, the print quality was a one-off issue in my book because my sister's photo books, which are the same silver halide, look much better. So I just wanted to mention that. This one is the photobookshop.co.uk australia or whatever the address is it's an australian company and again they have lots of photo books but they have one premium one which is um, printed using silver halide printing and it was a, a really nice book inside very good quality it goes up to a really big size as well and if you're in australia it's a very affordable option instead of getting books shipped from Europe or the United States. And the last one here, I think this is called Album Envy. Uh, I reviewed this book a long time ago. I really loved it when I reviewed it. And they have many fancy options like crystal cover, leather, like these combined leather and photo covers. And it's a beautiful print inside, very, very sharp, vivid colors. My only moan was with this, that the print kind of came apart. 
so how the the double sided spreads how they're stuck together it kind of broke apart a little bit which shouldn't really happen with silver halide books but again i could have asked for a reprint it didn't happen uh, when i got it it happened a few months after the print inside is really good and you can ask for really fancy cover options so it's something to look into it's called album envy now these were the samples that i had here and i've got a few more companies here that i want to mention there is something called bonus print and i think it's a uk company again and boots and true print now both of these companies are outsourcing their photo books from siwi so i felt like there's no point to show any boots photo books because it just shows in the end produced by Siwi. So there are many, many supermarket photo book companies who outsource their books. And although you buy it from the supermarket, it was made by one of the other big photo book makers. So Boots, um, Trueprint, Jessup's also in the UK, uh, Bonus Print, Pixum, I think in Germany, Mpix and My Me Icona or My Icona in Greece. These companies all provide silver highlight photo books. I haven't seen them, so I can't swear by them, but if you are in these regions and you're looking for Silver Halide photo books, then you should check out these. Now, there's going to be a link to all the companies I talked about in the description below, so you can check them out. And if you want to browse more photo books, you can go onto my blog, thephotobookguru.com, and there is a wizard which allows you to filter and browse photo book companies based on what you're looking for. So this was my little spiel about Silver Halide photo books, how to choose them and my favorites. Hope it helped and it cleared up some questions you might have had about Silver Halide photo books. Thank you very much for watching and as always, subscribe for more.